Hi, this is Steve Fryer with John L. Scott, and I want to address uh, just the condition of our market right now in the uh, Tacoma, Pierce County, Puyallup area. Uh, there is a severe shortage, in case you hadn't read the papers, uh, seen my blogs, listened to other real estate agents, we have next to no inventory. And there's a lot of reasons for that. One of the reasons that I get from potential sellers is uh, they tell me that they're afraid to sell because they don't know what they're going to buy. Right? Shortage of inventory in one marketplace oftentimes equates to a shortage in another marketplace. Now, if you own one of the median priced homes in the area at say 350 to 400,000, uh, those homes will sell very quickly. I just listed a home for uh, 488. Uh, we sold it in 29 hours in the Grand Furs area. Uh, it just went really, really fast. And that particular seller's moving out of state, so not quite the concern. They already have a place uh, set up for them in the, uh, in the location that they're moving to. But I just wanted to bring up a couple of ideas that might help you if you're thinking about selling and you're afraid that um, you may not have a place to go. First of all, in the above 500,000, if you're thinking about moving up, improving, improving your, uh, your standard of living, it's a little bit easier. Those homes are uh, coming on the market more and more every day. We're coming into our spring market. Um, but as a seller in this particular market, you have, you have some options, right? One of them really isn't an option. The number one that everybody thinks is, well, I don't want to sell my house until I find a new, the one I want to buy, so I'll make a contingent offer. Uh, we have a term, it's not very nice for contingent offerees. It's usually, you know, the first loser. Uh, Contingencies often get bumped by people that come by with, who you know, are ready to buy, they're pre-underwritten, they have a uh, cash down payment ready to go, they're pre-approved, um, and they seem safer to a seller. There's two more, though, that uh, don't get discussed very often that I really think you should consider. One of them is talk to your loan officer about a bridge loan you may be able to qualify for, for a loan that allows you to keep your current home even while you're buying a new home. See if you can get approved for a bridge loan um, while you're selling, selling your current home and after, after you've secured your first home. That is an option. You will pay more interest, you will pay more fees. Another one, and it's probably the perfect time to try this strategy, and I'm willing to help you work through it if, if you don't quite understand it, and that is sell your home with an extended lease back provision so that if your home sells in hours, which if it's priced properly and promoted properly, it will, uh, then you get to stay in your home either either for you know a, a reduced rate you know the cost of the buyer's mortgage payment uh, there's a number of different ways to structure to structure them and um, buyers are very sensitive to the fact that they want their offer to stand out and a lot of them are offering a lease back i don't need to move into the house today but I want to buy the house today so that I know I've got a place to live. And they're giving sellers 30, 60 days extra time in the house past closing to find their next forever home. It's a great option. It, it works. It's probably the most perfect time to do it because buyers do understand it. They understand that if, that if they're going to get their dream home, they need to accommodate the seller. And it very well could help you. If you have any questions about these or other options, give me a call. I'd love to help. We desperately need your house on the market, and I can help you find your next forever home. Thanks for watching.